Okay, guys, now we need to talk about the problem of ignorance. And this is not a casual quadrant. So I checked the playlist because um, it might seem like um, like it's this isn't casual quadrant, but it's not. And also, I just realized that at 20 Earth feet to put loss of leadership actually is not paragraphs. So yeah, that's our the problem of ignorance. It is important to understand the law, the law of cause and effect is impersonal. And this is why we see so many people who are basically good, so many problems and disasters in their lives. Somewhere in their life, that person has either misused or has a misunderstanding of the law. It doesn't mean that he or she is a bad person. It doesn't mean that he or she isn't a loving person. It means that through ignorance is... And it means that through ignorance, that person is suffering the consequences of their misunderstanding. This can be applied to any natural law. For instance, uh, or gravity will not kill you, but a misunderstanding of its action will. Even if you are a kind, loving, positive person. Your life is like a river. The river keeps on flowing. Some people go down to the river and cry. Some people go down the river and and are happy, but the river just keeps flowing. You can use it and enjoy it, or you can jump in and drown. And drown. The river just keeps flowing because it is impersonal. We live in an impersonal universe that support that can support us or destroy us. It's our interpretation, perception, and understanding of how it works that determine our effects or results. We can only receive from the river of life what mind is capable of accepting. We can go to the river of life with a teaspoon, and someone else may go with a barrel. But the abundance of the river is always there and waiting. Our consciousness, our, di- our ideas, our frame, our reference, and our belief, our frame of reference and our belief system determines whether we go to the river of life with a teaspoon, a cup, or a bucket, or a a barrel if we are in our sinking and have gone to the river of life with only a teaspoon we may curse the little we have in our teaspoon we may curse others who have more than we do but remember whatever we curse will curse us the river is there and it's overflowing with abundance we can come to the river of life with a teaspoon in a bucket or a barrel anytime we want to do what we take from the river of life is up to us. The only limitation is in our thinking. The truth is that we can have anything we desire if we give up the belief that we can't have it. As simple as that. <laughs> so some people might have disasters in their life because they don't miss, because they misunderstand things. And uh, so your life is like a river. The river keeps on flowing. Some people go down the river and cry. Some people go down the river, down to the river, and are happy. But the river just keeps flowing and flowing. So, um, basically, um, and also we can come to the river of life with a teaspoon, a bucket, or a barrel, and time we want to. What we take from the river is of life is up to us. The only limitation is in our sinking. The truth is that we can't have anything we desire if we give up the belief that we can't have it. It's as simple as that. So, yeah, that's it. Like, subscribe. Bye.